Throughout the many seasons of Miraculous Ladybug, fans have come to love every one of the Kwamis. From Tiki to Dusu, no Kwami is alike. With every Kwami also comes their holders, heroes handpicked by Ladybug to defend Paris with the help of their superpowers. Although there have been a few times the holders have changed, the relationship between a Kwami and their holder is strong, and a match like no other. In today's video, we are going to talk about who else could harness the power of the Miraculouses and become their new holders. Marinette, even so, you know Master Fu trusted me to help him protect the Miracle Box. I was more than just his Kwami. Number 1. Tiki As the Kwami of creation, it takes a special kind of hero to harness the powers of the Ladybug Miraculous. With Adrian using the Miraculous in the episode Passion, becoming Mr. Bug, he has proven himself as being capable of handling the duty that comes with the Ladybug Miraculous. However, Alia seems much more qualified. With Marinette entrusting her with the Miraculous when she has to leave and hack Sun, we know the true Ladybug thinks she's best suited to replace her if the situation calls for it. We can also see this demonstrated in Transmission when Tiki chooses Alia to become her new holder. Alia, I need you! Tiki? Did something happen to Marinette? No, she's fine. I reclaim the miraculous from her. Number 2. Plague With powers as dangerous as destruction, the holder of the cat miraculous has to be someone very trustworthy and someone who always promises to use the miraculous of the cat for good. Although we also see Marinette wielding the cat miraculous a few times, the best choice for the new holder would be Zoe. With someone as compassionate as her, there's no arguing she'd be the perfect new holder for Plague, which is proven when he chooses her as his new holder in Transmission. We can also see in the new special Miraculous World Paris when Kitty Noir and Scarabella are seen working together as heroes in an alternate universe. Style for pa. Cataclysm! <laughs> Number 3. Nuru Although oblivious to the fact of Gabriel being Hawk Moth and Monarch later on for most of the showtime, the better holder for such powers would be Adrian himself. Unlike his father, Adrian is a reliable person who uses the Cat Miraculous for good and would do the same with the Miraculous of the Butterfly. Unfortunately, being the target of his father's control over his whole life, he knows how it feels to live in a cagey world and would never use his powers to akumatize others for evil and selfish reasons. Having him as the holder of the Butterfly Miraculous would show us even more powers, which Nuru is capable of. Master, it's my birthday today. I thought... You obviously haven't grasped the rules, Nuru. Number 4. Dusu Even if Felix is a responsible holder for a Miraculous as formidable as the Peacock, if he had to give it up, the next best holder would be his girlfriend, Kagami. With speculations of her being a Senta monster the same way Felix and Adrian are, she would understand how potent and vital the Peacock Miraculous is, only using it to create such creatures when necessary and never for selfish gain. Oh, amok. Let our thirst for truth take shape. Number 5. Sass As one of the most sought-after Miraculous, reversing time can't be trusted with just any holder. That's why the only trustworthy person who would understand the powers of the Snake Miraculous would be Alex. Being the holder of the Rabbit Miraculous, responsible for time travel, she understands how fragile holding such an ability would be, and can expect her to be deploying the Snake Miraculous just as carefully. With Sass and Fluff having such similar abilities, it only makes sense for Alex to be the alternate holder. My name is Sass, and I'll be your Kwame. Number 6. Trix With such a mischievous Kwame and the ability to fool others by means of illusion, the holder of the Fox Miraculous has to be someone willing to match his energy. Although the Fox Miraculous would not be in good hands, Lila could make the perfect new holder for Trix. Since the girl is easily able to trick all of her friends into believing her lies, there's no telling how much she could get away with if she used the Fox Miraculous as well. Ready to become a superhero? You just need to say one thing. Trix? Let's pounce! Number 7. Waze With one of his previous holders being Master Fu, Waze is a very down-to-earth and calm Kwame. Keeping this in mind, another holder for him could be Mi Lin. As one of the most caring characters in the show, it is expected that she would use the power of protection wisely. Sharing similar personalities with Waze, both holder and Kwame could form an even stronger bond while fighting off villains. If you manage to contact Nuru, wish him a happy 3500 cycles for me. We sure will, Waze! Number 8. Pollen with the longest holder of the Bee Miraculous being Chloe, it only makes sense for her best friend to be the one to replace her. Knowing so much through Chloe's stories and hopes for using the Bee Miraculous again, Sabrina is already aware how powerfully striking Pollen can be. The difference, however, is she would use the powers for selfless reasons and to fight side by side with the rest of the Miraculous holders. Hello, my queen. Number 9. Mullow 
the power of duplication takes a holder who can use predictions to their benefit, thinking ahead in every fight to see how the miraculous of the mouse could best be used. The best hero for this would be Max. With his immense knowledge of computers and ability to strategize plans so quickly, the powers of the mouse miraculous would serve him well in the battle to protect Paris. Number 10. Stomp Determination is a power the holders of the Ox Miraculous must use cautiously and carefully. Manifesting as resistance, it grants its users the ability to be invulnerable to physical attacks and other Kwame's powers as it takes a special person to use the powers of the Ox Miraculous for good. As an aspiring writer, Mark understands the importance of using his voice and words to motivate others. He demonstrates this while helping his friends win a soccer game in Penal Team. After being able to push aside his fears and use his determination to help his friends come out on top. Let's add some muscle to this game. Number 11, Fluff. As mentioned previously, since Alex would make a perfect new holder for Sass, it would make sense for Luca to be the new holder of the Rabbit Miraculous as well. With his perception of time and how fragile it is, he would use time travel safely and responsibly as well. In his many time loops, patience and dedication got him through every fight, and those are the same things needed to harness the power of Rabbit Miraculous. Was that breakfast or dinner? What time will it be yesterday? Was it tomorrow already? When it'll be the day after tomorrow, it will have been yesterday! Number 12, Roar. With the loudest Kwame as a partner, the holder of the Tiger Miraculous must be able to use their voice to call upon their Kwame. We see this in Crocodile when Ladybug gives the Miraculous of the Tiger to Julika, who must yell in order to transform into Purple Tigress. In the same way that Julika benefited from having Roar as her Miraculous, Ivan could do the same. With Ivan being exceptionally quiet and shy, Roar could help him come out of his shell. Number 13, Long. As the current holder of Long, we see Kagami learn to stand up to her mother and make choices for herself without needing permission. This same confidence is what Julika needs as well. As one of the more shy characters in the show, Julika could seriously benefit from learning to speak her mind more, both to her friends and also to her father. Number 14, Kalki. As the most athletic on the team, Kim knows what it's like to travel from place to place in a flash. It only makes sense for him to use the powers of teleportation to succeed in a battle. With his skills in track and swimming, Kim would know how to make the horse Miraculous take him where he needs to be at the exact moment to save the day. Oh, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Uh, hello, my name's Max. Number 15, Ziggy. As the guardian of the Miraculouses, Marinette knows the most about every Kwame. While it has been proven from time to time that she could use any other power and still save the day, the Miraculous of the Goat makes the most sense for her to choose. In the same way Ladybug uses her lucky charm, Ziggy can also grant their holders the power to create anything they need to save the day. With so much time spent using lucky charms, Marinette would have no problem using the power of Genesis. Hi, I'm your Kwame, Ziggy. Can I trust you? Number 16, Shupu. One of the most playful and fun Kwamis has to be that of the monkey. With the tools conjured from using the Miraculous, it only takes one hit to make the fight much more fun. As the leader of the Resistance and one of the more goofy characters we know, Nino would make good use of the Monkey Miraculous, defeating every villain with a smile while helping his friends have fun. Aww, flying monkey plushie! I'm no plushie, my name's Shupu, you nitwit! Number 17, Oriko. As the Kwame of Pretension, the rooster's ability to grant any power their holder desires comes with great responsibility. As one of the most trusted holders, Felix would be well equipped to use such powers with caution. Having witnessed Felix carry out complicated yet delicate plans to defeat Monarch, we know the rooster Miraculous would be in good hands with Felix as its holder. It's so sad. The reason we're doing this, Dusu, is because we're hoping for a happy ending. Number 18, Bark. We have seen Rose being the epitome of love and compassion many times throughout the show, whether it is to help Julika with her anxiety or being there for all of her friends. In the same way, Ziggy also protects her friends. As seen in Furious Fu, when the rest of the Kwamis go to see the previous guardian, Bark stays behind to keep them safe. While using the Miraculous of the dog, Rose would use her empathetic nature to do the same thing, keeping her friends out of trouble. Point. Huh? What if an akumatized villain or a scent monster shows up? I have a bad feeling about this. You go. I'll keep watch. Number 19, Daisy. As a creative artist, Nathaniel is the perfect match for Ziggy. However, if we had to choose another Miraculous for him to use, it would be that of the pig. With their powers almost being the same, Nathaniel could use the pig Miraculous to make his imaginations come to life and show everyone their deepest desires through his gifted skills. Whoa, you're so cute! 
Although we could never imagine separating the Kwamis from their real holders, there are endless possibilities for who could take over as their holders as the story progresses. With new miraculous holders being picked now and new knowledge of a multiverse in the show, there's no telling what kinds of adventures our heroes could get into in the future. We can only hope to see even more of the Kwamis and their holders in the seasons to come. And maybe even more Kwamis we've yet to meet. What's your name? My name's Daisy, and I'm your Kwame. They'll give you your powers. You just have to recite these words. Daisy, rejoice! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. <laughs> yes, it probably fell out when I took out the cake. <laughs> he touched me. He touched me.